when Karen is driving on the wrong side of the road. Crazy Sandra trying to intimidate my mother on wrong side of road. Oh my gosh, what is what is with her face right now? Yeah, more do you think? Yeah. The dog is like, help me. You're on the wrong side of the road. I'm gonna call the police on you. <laughs> okay, well you're on the wrong side of the road, lady. Like you're just not supposed to be doing that. No, I can give you the number. <laughs> Oh, I can call 911. Karen, Karen, please. Oh, I, you know I actually am going to. Right oh, I'm here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, 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 oh. That doesn't look like the road to me. This is a trap toe. We don't actually know if that's Karen or not. That could, be, that could just be like a really, really unaware individual. Like somebody who has not had their coffee yet this morning. And speaking as somebody who has not had their coffee this morning, I could see myself making a mistake. Maybe not that bad, but like a mistake. But that is, that is def, that is abhorrent. Oh, I love these I'm ones. On the window. I love these ones, man. Are you guys having a nice Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Once you leave, we'll have a wonderful But that's Christmas. not... You know but what? What the hell? Like, what are you even talking about? You don't, you you don't, you don't hold space. space like that. You, you know don't what? stand in oh space Oh my god. This is the literal Grinch. From you, parking, we got here first. You know what? To set an example no, of why, why? I'm going to give you guys the space. Why are you entitled to the Merry space? Christmas. Why don't uh, you tell that, yourself that? No, no. That's, that's why we're giving it to you. Why don't you what? tell yourself that? But that's that, not lady. how it works, okay? It's not, you're not giving it to us. That doesn't work that way. That's actually gross to me. Like the way that she said that, the way that those words just like ooze out of her mouth, I'm like, there's poison here. This is toxicity that I do not want to be a part of. She was complaining there was plastic in her soup and was offered a refund or another item, but she continued to be arrogant and then threw the soup in the threw cashier's the face. Soup. No, don't throw the soup. Don't throw the soup. Okay, okay, so like we, yeah, I saw the aftermath there, like soup definitely on the ground. Like, yeah, that, that's just, yeah, that, come on. Like, come on, like why? Why do you have to be this way? It's like all of that build up, like anger and like self-hatred for yourself. I'm just gonna take it out on this like poor, probably minimum wage worker here because of my soup had a piece of plastic in it. You know, and I get it. Your soup is not supposed to have plastic in it. That's not on the freaking ingredients list, but we're offering you a refund. We're apologizing, we're trying to give you another item right here. Like it's not my fault that there was freaking plastic in the goddamn thing. Just like take your anger out elsewhere, guys. That's why I go to the gym. Cause it's good. We get to get that release out so I don't do stupid stuff like this to poor minimum wage workers. Christ. Yes, please. Can you get a policeman on board here? We got somebody dining in the first car. Number 356. He's dining, dining. Eating on the train? Eating on the train? The, imagine trying to call the police to the car because you're like, well, there's a sign right there that says no eating or drinking. Sir, relax and mind your own business. I hope that burrito was good. <laughs> oh, people just love to get in other people's business for no reason at all. Because I'm pathetic. I think the funniest part of that, and I, the music will probably be cut out for you guys, but in the actual clip, it's playing Pump Up the Jam. <laughs> well, this guy's just going to town on a car. No worries, I mean, he had the right music behind this act. <laughs> oh my God. Jeez Louise, he really didn't want to let this Karen pass. No worries. I'm sorry, I can't. We're closed. I need my phone fixed today. I can't. We're closed. We, like, I don't have enough time. I can't go without my phone. How much you want? I'll pay you whatever you want. What you it's need? Not, good... It's not about money. I'll pay you extra for your time. It's not about I need my phone. I can't go without it. Part of me that feels like this is just like staged a little bit. I'm getting that energy, so. We don't, what kind of phone is it? We don't even have the screen for it. I can't do this tonight. I'm you sorry. I have to do it. I cannot. I can't. You have to fix my phone. I can't fuck without my phone. I don't have that screen. It's impossible. I'll, I'll get one. I don't care what you gotta do. Get my phone fixed. 
Monday is the early. No, Monday, I can't wait. Okay. You have to leave. I'm sorry. And no, take I'm your. Not I'm leaving. You pissed me You have to. There's like part of me that feels like this is fake. I feel like I have a good radar for those sorts of things, but maybe I don't. <laughs> Um, but if not, I think it's probably good that her phone broke for a little bit because she'll see the freedom you have without it. Like last night, I plugged my phone in at like six because it died and uh, kind of forgot that it existed for a while. I do that a lot. Everyone thinks I'm ignoring them, but really, I just, I'm ignoring everyone. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Man, <laughs> don't start something you can't finish. You better go! Get out! You don't want Cause like realistically, if the guy wasn't saying things like exit the premises and instead was just like giving the same energy back and was aggressive and tried to start a physical altercation like she was. So what is that, a bunch of garbage? Oh, man. Damn, dude. Wow, he really did that. He really went and did that. Like, I ain't about littering either, guys. Like, I ain't about it, but like, wow. This guy straight up like picked up the bag, followed this man for what looked to be like several blocks, and then did that. Dude, wow. Okay, like I don't know if I should be praising this man or being like, well, you probably shouldn't do that, but like at the same point, like should not be littering either. So like, oh wow, crazy. Dude, we got a Karen in the uh -oh. building. We got a Cameron in the building. I don't, think I don't wanna be in it. No, it's it's for OnlyFans. Okay, no, I don't look, I don't wanna be in your video. I'm the, not the, allowing the, Then why are you trying to get in it? Okay, I'm gonna take you and find you then. Okay, well what? I don't understand. How's she being caring? I don't wanna be in the video. You weren't in the video, but you came in it. it. You're, dude, if you don't wanna be in the video, then stop getting in it. <laughs> Okay, I'll be honest. I don't really understand how she is, uh, how she's being a Karen there. Like those, those guys were just like filming her just cause, just because they wanted to film her. Unless she was getting upset that they were filming beforehand when she wasn't even in the video. And then in that case, like, yeah, that's definitely weird. But like, I don't really, I don't, I'm not, mm, I'm not super sold on that one. You know, like, like it looked like my guys were giving her a hard time for what looked to be no real good reason there. Prick. Okay. So come back down here again and see what happens. Okay. I'm calling the cops anyways. So you're up on this end, stay up here. Okay. This can be sorted by just checking the rules, you know, like, and where, where can they do this and where can they not? Because this is a public road. Okay. That's so an off-road vehicle. Th this is the way that was explained to me. They said everything on a dirt road is private road. Not this they road, said, I'm a, not as this road. This is what they Yeah, do. screaming a little louder, bro. Road, okay. my ass to be Listen, all the way to Dr. Glick's. Can you, can, you, can you slow down for a I've second? I've been here 40 years, mother <laughs> but, but your dad's been up here for 40 Damn year. Dad's been here for his lifetime. It's a Either way though, like that's just an unnecessary reaction for a guy to be driving what looks to be like what? Like a just like a dirt bike or like something something like that. You know, it's like just relax. Just chill out, take your car, drive it across the other side so like you don't hit him. You know, like why can't we both share the space right now? Why 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 are you being why are you being so rude? <laughs> they, they sit and they talk to each other. Blah, 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 blah. Speak English. Yeah, but they talk to me, so why would they have to speak English? They're they not, talking, not to talking to you. To are you gonna say I don't speak English too now? That was that was just rude. That's why I'm over here being rude with you. Chill out, like stop having a problem. Like clearly it was like two people speaking a different language. They were talking to each other and like she didn't like it, but like why do you need to be in on their conversation? You know what I mean? Like just like the, the, that's their thing. Because they're over here being rude yeah. to them. Like what they do to you. It's not, it's not, hey, it's not their well, fault. It's not their fault. You don't understand, no. Hey, it's not, hey, not everybody has a privilege to go to school like we do. You're being real. No, you're just being, no, 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 hey, no, just shut up. No, you don't, you don't, you don't go out no How old are you, No, hey, hey. How old are you? What does his age have to do with anything, you know? That's just like, that. that's just your last ditch effort at something. Like, if this guy's like younger than 25, she's gonna be like, oh, like, you're younger than that. Like, you don't know anything. What? That just does not make any sense at all, lady. Like, that's the, if they were talking to you in a different language and like expected you to understand, then I could, I could, I could get how like that'd be a lot different, but that's not what's taking place, lady. The manager puts Karen's in their place after they <laughs> disrespect him. You think you win? 
But don't push my dough, brother. I'm not the one you think I am, brother. Now, don't you ever disrespect nobody from this hotel. Okay? Get out now, get out my hotel. I am. Get out. I am. Walk away from me. No, get out. Because you don't have no room can. here, and you're here disturbing my thing. You cussing at my receptionist. I did not. You threatening my receptionist. Get out of here. Not, I did get out. Turn. Damn, dude. Damn. This guy's got your back, man. You know that if you work for him, like once you get on his inner circle, it's like that's it, man. Like got you for life. You know, anybody comes after you, like this man's gonna be there right now. I don't know what it was that these people did. They look like young people, you know, like could be teenagers right here. It's like, I don't know what they were doing. Maybe they were filming some like prank video or like screw around with people in the hotel just not you know causing a disturbance obviously right this guy wasn't having any of it dude came with the big guns once again though i mean it's not like they're necessarily breaking the law or at least i didn't see it on camera but uh but definitely being rude for sure entitled douchebag checking into a motel causing havoc all right then call the manager and get my room you know you can't speak to me you're gonna have to yeah. where's my room who canceled it Sir, I have a confirmation right here. I'm very sorry. I have a confirmation. It was here. I don't care. Well, I mean, you should care because you're not gonna be sleeping here, dude. Like, there's just no way, right? That's what these people don't seem to understand, you know, is is like they, they come in and, and they give this energy off, right? It's not gonna get you anywhere, right? Like, that's not gonna get you anywhere at all. You gotta have the gift of the gab if you wanna, like, start finagling your way into some stuff. This dude, he's just straight up yelling and cussing this guy out. Like, he's not gonna feel any way about helping you out, you know? Like, I can't guarantee that if you were nice about it, he's gonna give you a room but I can guarantee that you're gonna get a better shot at getting a room if you went about it, you know, a little bit subtlier. It's not a word, but whatever. Male Karen doesn't like me promoting my business part oh, one. Oh, are we kidding? Is there any reason you would like us to leave? Yeah, because you're suspicious. We're For suspicious. what? Why are we suspicious? Me and my little brother are wearing normal clothes. He says we're suspicious. For what? What are you guys doing? I'm out here trying to pro promote my detailing business. Okay, okay, yeah, like, what is it? I, I'll, I'll be honest, like, where is the, the promotion of the business? You know, like, that's what I want to see. You're like, like, how are you promoting your business? What were you doing? And that makes me quote unquote suspicious. Oh my God, this guy, this guy knows the number and everything? Like, what the hell? And uh, no, he's video technically. Not, I'm not trying to say that we did something wrong. When he pulled up all aggressively, almost hit the trunk right in front of him. Because this guy's just saying, like, oh, I was just promoting my business. Like, I'm chill, you know? And, like, I, I can see that. Like, I agree with you. But I want to see, like, what were you actually doing, right? Like, if you guys were just sitting in your car, then I guess you're not really promoting your business. But you're also, like, it doesn't give this guy a reason to come in here and call the police on you. Like, just, again, somebody who does not understand the law right now, just trying to take it into their own hands. I feel like all these people, it's just like, okay, well, if that's how you feel about things, then you should become a cop. You know, it's like, that. Like, why didn't you choose that career path if you feel this strongly about, like, these individuals? Individuals. Stupid. Yeah, you're gonna get more money. <laughs> money. If you want anything from me, you'll let me walk out of here with <laughs> Yeah, sorry, ladies. You just gotta get out. Mafia won't get what they want, I guarantee it. How much is the new one? The mafia won't get what they want. Mafia, what? So earlier I was saying it was a 3 out of 10. This is 1,000% a 10 out of 10 Karen blow up. When you reach that, like her face was red. Her face was actually full on red, you know? And like that, the sounds that were coming out of her body. I am not capable of making sounds like that. But I don't think that a human being should be capable of making sounds like that. That is way too much. And she's calling them devils. And apparently the mafia is getting sprinkled into this. Holy sh lady. Like you gotta go home and calm down. Exit the premises. <laughs> that girl is a Karen, that's for sure. I don't think it would have gone well for her. I'm just saying. I think she would have regretted all of the things that she said leading up to that point. So, uh, yeah, just don't start something you can't finish.
is for that. That's my reaction. <laughs> I'm telling you to get out of my face. I need the name. No, it froze. Owner. Because this is privacy owned. It's private communication. I already told you that. So Hi. get out of my face. Excuse you. I need you to leave. I'm not leaving. Ma'am, I need you to get out of my face. I'm not leaving. Get out of my face. Oh my gosh. Like, why when somebody's telling you to leave an establishment, do people just say, no, I'm not gonna leave? Like, sorry, you don't get to choose. Get out of my face. Stop it. Are you gonna hit me? Stop it. Are you gonna hit me? I'm gonna call the police. Get out of my face. Ma'am, get out of my face. Don't touch my phone. Get do out of my face. Do not touch my phone. Get out of my face. This is a business. This is a private property, okay? If I tell you to leave, Goodbye, goodbye. And if you don't, you know who's gonna come? The police. And guess what? They've got other things to do than deal with Karens, okay? Just cause a lady wants to wave her phone around. They're busy. Just leave, just go to the next store. Tell us. You're not welcome here. Man, I can't hear what the employee said, but I could definitely hear what that Karen was absolutely screaming about. I can't give it! Well, you can't buy anything now. You know, you know, you know. She paid $35 for this thing she can't use. I'm like, that's really just not the way to ask for a refund or store credit or an exchange for something you can use. Lady, nobody's gonna help you if you're leaning over the counter and screaming at them. Gosh. I'm the Call the right police. Call here. the police. I'm standing right here until they get here. We're leaving. My husband's a lawyer. He's you're gonna get hit. Not your lawyer. Oh my gosh. Wow, this was wild. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Back up, back up, just back up. She'll leave. Yeah, she'll leave. Move. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 oh. Leave, leave, leave. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. You're, you're crazy. No, I'm not. You know what? You guys are terrible. You're terrible. Bye. Bye. I just like don't know why when everyone's in like a situation like this where they're freaking out and like preventing people from leaving and general bad behavior, potentially illegal activities, um, they like to bring up their family members. You know, like that lady on the plane who's like, my brother's a sniper or something like that. And then this lady's like, my husband's a lawyer. I'm like, I do I not care. He could be Annalise Keating and he still can't get you out of standing behind somebody's car and preventing them from leaving. I'm pretty sure that's a crime. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Also, no way her husband's Annalise Keating. No one's Annalise Keating. <laughs> if you know, you know. We are not the shit he face. It is not illegal to yell here. It's oh young my man, gosh. Ma'am, you are helped when you are visiting. Oh my city. gosh. Would you please? I hate you, I hate you. Wow. It's just a temper tantrum, guys. You do not live off this oh salary. Gosh. Goodbye with the understanding I have quietly and it is not illegal to Oh my gosh. It's just a full-on temper tantrum. This is a grown woman throwing a temper tantrum. That's, I, I can't, I, I just like, how do you, how do you walk through your life on a daily basis, living it, and, and just, and being okay with things? It, I, I just, like, we let these people drive cars. We let them have responsibility. She could be, you know, a, a mother. She could have a family for God's sake. Like, I don't want any of that, man. Like, she's throwing a temper tantrum in a Starbucks. Holy. Holy crap, it literally, like people like this, she could run our country for all I know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> wow, just being full up rude. Put it right on back. Oh, we're going in the car or behind. Oh, just on, on it. All right. Yeah, get it all up and nice and in there. 
Yeah, yeah, and the battle begins, guys. I can guarantee that that was not the finishing blow of this fight. That was just the beginning, folks. He puts it there. I put it on the car. It's going to be getting a lot worse before it gets it better, guys. Like, that's just, this is the beginnings of a, of a heated, heated rivalry that will not end well for anybody. Oh, dude, that is how you get your freaking... <laughs> like literally it's like you could get rocked just like that dude like that is how it all comes to an end very very quickly this also looks like a literal racetrack right now man this guy's just wall we're like backing in front of a racetrack for mo are you kidding me how do you have how do you not have a any level of awareness at all like in what space do you need to be what mindset do you need to be to just casually like back into a freaking motorcycle racetrack like literally where are you dude this guy has no idea uh oh don't be doing this guys don't be doing this oh my goodness gracious wait she's in the passenger seat why the hell she's in the passenger seat why are we put her in the back dude Am I am I tripping guys or is she in the passenger seat? Wow, okay, yeah, so I, I have no idea why they put her in the passenger seat right there. That is definitely a freaking weird one, everybody. But I, very clearly, she's screaming some inaudible things that just make absolutely no sense at all. I don't know what the hell she was doing. That's why we do not drink and drive. Well, not that reason. That was just, you know, copying and weird and she's being drunk. But, you know, drinking and driving, very, very bad. We do not want to do it. Definitely don't condone anything like that. And if you do, then, uh, then I think that the cops got to get you, man. Consequences need to be had for something like that. So, honestly, like, she had it coming. It <laughs> it's what? always the parking lots, man. With what? You, you, no, you, this, is, this is not legal. This is not, no, no, no. You cannot save a spot with a human. There's rules. There is rules. You want me to call the police? The parking lots, dude. You want me to call the police? I can call the police. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Call it. Call it. <laughs> like, this is just so much energy in a parking lot, man. Like, what, what is it about parking lots and parking spaces and just parking garages? It's like people just, like, lose their minds, you know? Like, we just can't seem to figure it out, right? Like, it's like our brains, our, our human meat brains cannot comprehend a parking lot. And we just can't seem to work together here. And the Karens, oh, God, the Karens just, blah, 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 they lose it. You want sauce? I said that's the last thing I want. Okay. I don't want sauce all over it. Okay, great. So it's all good. No, that's the opposite of what I said. I said I don't want sauce all over it. I'd like to get that. This is ridiculous. So you know, all the soups have, do have uh, pepper in it and salt. It all has massive amounts. Because I want fair hands. I don't have. I'm but not you touching didn't it. You didn't touch it your I haven't Why touched did you open up my because sandwich? Because I wanted like to make that. sure that it is your sandwich. Yeah. So do you mind? Well, can you open up theirs instead and make sure you touch them? But, like, lady, he's been touching yours the whole time. Like,. Just like, oh no, like how could you possibly open it up now after you just watch this man like manhandle your sandwich, like put all the freaking stuff on it. You just literally watched that happen and now she's like, oh, how could you touch my sandwich? Put her drink out front, swear to God. Here you go. Okay. Right it's a value doctor's pepper, that's what you think. Thank God. Time for this. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, so uh, clearly the lady in the car was freaking out, but like right now we're just seeing the aftermath of the manager just losing it. Right there, value Dr. Pepper. It's also on the receipt too. She's like, can I get my drink? I took that salad and I said, I don't, or I didn't even, I didn't even throw it yet. I said I had two hands. And you know what? Like, it's probably warranted. It's probably warranted. Although we didn't see exactly what the lady in the car was doing. But, like, the, clearly it must have been bad based on this reaction. Is this your store? I am a customer! So am I. I so am I. I'm a customer too, Becky. <laughs> oh my god. That lady needs to learn how to chill out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I would have kicked her out of the store so fast. I would have been like, nope, nope, 
No, no one above the age of like 10 is allowed to scream and cry in my store. Absolutely not, see you later. <laughs> no, no, no lady, you're way too old to be doing that. I don't know where, you why, asked, I don't know why this entitled boulder attitude has people thinking that they own bike racks and stuff, but you need to stop touching my stuff. And I mean, there's plenty of other space can here. You, you don't own this. Saying? I can absolutely hear oh, what okay, you're saying. You I, just butted I, in. Is that Dude. your bike? Yes, and it is. And you asked me if it was mine. Yeah, because you're like, I always park on the end. That doesn't matter to me. There's plenty of other space here. We're the same type of person, man. You're no better than me. I'm no better than you. You don't, you don't own the end of the rat. So <laughs> that doesn't mean you can walk in and grab it. doing this for 40 years. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing it. That's what's wrong with you Boulder people, man. You're so entitled. You think because you've been doing something for a long time, you can, like, you have the right to touch other people's sh An unhappy person. <laughs> you sound like an unhappy person, says the guy who is upset that he didn't get his spot on the bike rack. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, it's a little ironic, mister. If that really is the case, that you were upset about that, seems like you're maybe an unhappy person. Busy would be every single table. There are three servers on, sir. We can only do so much. If you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. Who else is open? Go Nobody there. else. Well, exactly. you know, I'm not going to pay for a meal. Well, then bye. You're out. I was gonna say something mean, but I'm gonna keep it to myself, okay? Imagine, imagine getting that angry over IHOP. Hello, we go. Oh, oh, you son of a You better put that right in my eye. That's a drama. Drama at IHOP, bro. <laughs> the guy at the end, drama at IHOP. <laughs> it's so true though, like that guy needs to freaking chill. What? Also, like he said, you're the only place open. Well, then shut your damn mouth and eat your pancakes, okay? I don't know what you want. Sometimes restaurants are busy, okay? And like, I'm certainly not gonna even attempt to give you good service if you talk to me like that. Guess who's getting no food and a ticket for being rude? I don't know, you obviously can't get a ticket for that, but. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs>